Chimpanzees have been spotted attacking gorillas in the wild for the first time. Now that's not a sentence that most people would think that they'd read in the news, but it happened. Two years ago, an article published by Lara M. Southern et al. detailed the attacks of chimpanzees on gorillas which occurred in 2019, specifically on the species Gorilla Gorilla Gorilla, also known as the Western Lowland Gorilla. You have to love scientific naming sometimes. Interspecific violence and lethal encounters isn't uncommon, especially when concerning the great apes, specifically the chimps. Those guys are crazy. However, severe conflicts between chimps and gorillas? Well, that's a different ballpark entirely. Gorillas are known to be relatively docile animals, with many of their conflicts being within their own groups. The chimps though, well they don't fly like that. They seem to be on the opposite end of the spectrum, going out of their way to attack neighboring groups, as well as going out of their way to hunt smaller monkeys. But taking on other groups of chimps and taking out smaller monkeys is completely different than deciding to go up against King Kong. And I already know what you're going to say. How could a chimp, which on the larger end of the scale, weighs around 70 kilograms, even remotely have a chance of taking on gorillas? Where the silverbacks can weigh close to 300 kilograms, and they're built like that. Well, let's get into it. Within Southern's paper, they note that these conflicts occurred within the Loango National Park, where the territories of chimp coalitions and guerrilla troops overlap. The two recorded encounters lasted 52 minutes and 79 minutes, respectively. In both cases, the chimps were the aggressors. This just goes to show how aggressive chimpanzees can be, especially when compared to other apes. The first encounter was on February 6, 2019, where researchers were following a party of chimps part of the Rakambo community. Throughout their following of the chimps, they noticed that they were displaying activities of territorial patrols. The group included 18 chimps. At 5.01pm, the chimps first encountered the six gorillas, which included one silverback, three adult females, and infants. After approximately 10 minutes of barking and whatnot, the silverback charged and knocked back one of the female chimps. This was before 10 other chimps descended and surrounded the silverback before attacking him. Throughout this period of getting attacked, the silverback threw around the chimps before getting attacked by more. This was eventually until the gorilla was able to find an opening and retreat with the rest of his troop. It was suggested that within this commotion, the chimps were able to take hold of the infant gorilla. They would have the infant until no further vital signs were present. At 5.53pm, the last chest beat of a gorilla in the distance was heard, and 20 minutes later, the chimps left the area. In this first encounter, the results included one fatality on the gorilla side, and one highly injured female chimp, with another two males having slight abrasions from the tussle. Now when we take a look at this first encounter, we see that the silverback remained to his post and tried to protect his troop. Despite the size and strength advantage that this silverback had, I think we can understand that he couldn't be victorious. It's simple maths. There were 18 chimps against 6 gorillas where a majority of them weren't adults. It makes sense that they cut their losses and escaped. The second encounter occurred on December 11, 2019, in which multiple observation teams were involved. There were a total of 27 chimpanzees which traveled across their northern border. As they traveled throughout their territory, they were moving towards a fruit tree when at 2.28 p.m. the chimps noticed a female gorilla. Soon after, other gorillas from the tree line began barking and beating their chests, trying to intimidate the large group of chimps, which unfortunately was unsuccessful. There were over six gorillas in this troop, including a silverback, adult female gorillas, and multiple infants and juveniles. Most of the chimps began traveling up the trees, while four males remained on the ground. After a few minutes of barking and chest beating, the silverback climbed down the tree and fled. Which I mean, the silverback in the first encounter got jumped by 10 chimps and stuck with his troop, but this one ran ASAP. To be fair though, I can't really blame him too badly. It was 27 chimps. After the silverback fled, the chimps continued barking without pursuing him. Then they turned their attention to the direction of one of the females and her infant. They even managed to pull the infant away from her for a moment before she managed to pull it back. Mother of the year, we'll say. At 12.40pm, the first female gorilla and her infant managed to escape. Then between 12.41 and 12.50pm, the chimps placed their sights on the last female and her infant. After a 10 minute conflict, the female gorilla was observed fleeing the canopy without her infant. 
at 1.46pm, the last gorilla chest beat was heard. This second encounter resulted in the loss of one of the gorilla's infants again, and the chimps this time were altogether fine, most probably due to the silverback's early exit from the conflict. So now that we've covered through what exactly went on with these encounters, we can move on to why they possibly occurred. Well, within the paper, it seems that there are two proposed reasons. These are either opportunistic hunting or interspecies competition. I'm also side with the interspecies competition as it's detailed by observers that the chimps acted quite similarly to how they would another chimpanzee group. These actions included moving along the borders of their territories and searching for other groups which could pose a threat over their resources. These two primates also show a dietary overlap of over 50%, which could definitely be a source for aggression by the larger chimp group. This interspecies competition is also supported by seasonal food scarcity, which would push the two primates closer together in search of food. I think opportunistic hunting is less likely, as these recordings are rather rare, and compared to many of the other potential items that they could be hunting, taking on a troop of gorillas doesn't seem like the most easy thing to do. I think it's also important to note that the article suggests that there's a chance that human presence may have affected both events. Specifically, it may have indirectly caused the silverbacks to leave early, and hence provided more power to the chimps. My only issue with this is even if the silverbacks stayed, there's not really much it would be able to do. In the first event, it was 18 chimps, and the second there was 27 chimps. Now, I understand that gorillas are really strong, but they are not strong enough to be taking on that many chimps by themselves. Even if they had six other adults with them, they wouldn't be capable of doing such a thing. What I find most interesting about these separate events is the idea of whether or not they are common occurrences within the ape sphere. Because apes such as chimps and gorillas are quite elusive, I dare to even say almost cryptic. And now considering we witnessed two of these events within the same year and location, I think that these conflicts may be more common than we have thought. I think we also have to add the fact that urbanization is occurring at quite a rapid pace. This would ultimately cause these types of conflicts to most probably increase, especially as the years go by. Now, of course, this isn't something that's good, but it does force me to wonder what type of adaptions, particularly behavioral adaptions, would each ape adopt in order to gain the advantage over the other? Would gorillas grow in troop size, or maybe they become more aggressive? We just don't know. But future research will be the only way that we know for sure. Anyways, we've reached the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed me going on about this unexpected conflict between the two most popular primates in the world. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. See ya.